Hi everyone, I'm Xu Wang, a PhD student at UCLA. I'm really happy to present this work, Watch Your Mouse, Silent Speech Recognition with Depth Sensing. It is done in collaboration with Zixiong Su, Jun Rikimoto, and my advisor Yang Zhang. Speech recognition is prevalent. It has been used to enable our interactions with virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant, where users can talk to AI agents just like how people communicate with each other. Speech recognition has been even more powerful given the recent advances in large language models, which give AI agents increasing potential to replace conventional UI interactions with human speech. However, traditional speech recognition methods face challenges in certain environments. Noisy environments, such as busy streets, can disrupt speech recognition by lowering the microphone's signal-to-noise ratio. To battle this noise, researchers proposed visual speech recognition using RGB cameras to read a user's lips. This promising direction is also called silent speech recognition in the sense that it allows a user to speak with an AI agent by only moving lips without using voice to preserve privacy. However, it is known that low light conditions and variations in user skin hinder visual speech recognition system's performance. Moreover, variations in the camera angle demand a lot of training data for a robust deep learning model. To address these challenges, our work leverages depth sensing, which allows us to capture subtle mouse movements and gestures crucial for visual speech recognition. By incorporating depth information, we aim to overcome the limitations posed by noisy environments and varying lighting conditions. Besides, our approach can handle different angles and positions due to the rotational invariance of point clouds. In other words, point clouds are inherently 3D data structures, and changing the view of angle of a sensor results in simple scale changes and rigid transformations that can be easily removed. We utilize the true depth camera from the iPhone to capture depth data and apply the fine-tuned Euler V7 model to accurately locate lips area on the depth map. We conducted a pilot study to identify an optimal region of interest around the user's lips. Please refer to our paper for details. This process gives us a point cloud of a user's lips. We designed a custom deep learning pipeline that is insensitive to the order of 3D points in this point class. This problem is known as point permutation. We developed a sequence-to-sequence -sequence deep learning pipeline to translate point class frames into English characters. First, to address the variability of face orientations, we implemented a learnable of fine transformation, ensuring input point clouds and oriented optimally for easier recognition in later steps. Following this, to capture spatial and temporal information effectively, we employ a point 40 convolutional layer along with our transformer. These layers serve as feature extraction. The extracted features are then processed through two bidirectional GRU layers, decoding visual cues into corresponding text representations. In the training phase, we utilize CDC loss to align the point class frame and English characters. Of note that we use a pipeline for both sentence recognition and command detection. For command detection, we add a heuristic layer at the end to map recognized speech to one of the commands in the command set. To ensure the accuracy and reliability of our model's performance, we conducted a user study involving 10 participants. We positioned our depth sensing device at three distinct sensor locations, on the wrist, on the head, and in the environment, as shown on my slide here. The study comprised two main parts. 
one for sentence recognition and the other for command detection. The sentence corpus comprises words grouped into eight different categories, each containing five frequently used words in conversations between humans and voice assistant devices. The sentence structure follows a straightforward permutation pattern, and there were no repeated sentences read in the user study. In the command corpus, we use a set of 30 commands such as volume up and get directions home. These commands were found on online articles and developer pages of various smart speaker products. To validate the feasibility of our approach, we conducted within user and cross user validations, comparing the results with a conventional RGB based method as a baseline. In the within user validation, our approach outperformed the conventional visual speech recognition method, achieving a character error rate of 4.13% and a word error rate of 8.06% resulting in a relative improvement of 48.05% in CER and 38.1% in WER. In the cross-user validation, our approach demonstrated a decrease in WER and CER by 4.57% and 5% respectively, compared to the conventional method. Notably, each sensor location exhibited similar performance, indicating that sensor location does not significantly affect performance. For command detection, we conducted within user and cross user recognition tests. The average command detection accuracy was 91.33% within users and 74.88% across users. We observed that 30 commands were frequently confused due to the similarities in words and the pronunciation, such as turn on and turn off. Additionally, we noted that commands with shorter YZM sequences tended to have higher error rates compared to those with longer sequences. To showcase the effectiveness of our approach, we developed a series of usage scenarios. For instance, users can silently control static devices like an air conditioning system. Our approach can integrate with smartphones, enabling existing applications to recognize speech as a natural and intuitive interaction modality. Additionally, our approach achieves accurate and reliable speech recognition results even in busy and noisy traffic surroundings and dim lighting conditions. Thank you for your attention. I'm happy to take questions.